A skin disease has a variety of types and perhaps causes as well. There are types of diseases that are caused by inflammation over a long period of time or even caused by infections and bacteria. One of the skin diseases that is quite familiar with us is atopic dermatitis or commonly known as eczema which often approaches the skin of children and adults. It can come and go over the years or throughout one's lifetime and may even overlap with other types of eczema. And to learn on how to prevent and treat these skin diseases, joining us live with us here in the studio is MMC Hospital's General Practitioner, Dr. Nabila Jasmine. Good morning, Dr. Jasmine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. You? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> All, All right. for having me. Thank you for coming. Um, now, um, Dr. Jasmine, maybe you can explain more about um, atopic dermatitis or eczema. Um, could it affect um, young children, but um, many middle-aged people also experiencing the same thing? Now, what is the main cause of this uh, disease, Dr. Jasmine? So, for the cause, it is mainly genetic. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, yeah, so atopy is the disposition okay. to develop allergic reactions upon exposure to allergens. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is, like I mentioned, genetic. And some of the most common manifestations are allergic rhinitis and asthma. Oh, okay. So if you have atopy, uh, your immune system is hypersensitive to allergic triggers. Okay. But for a, an atopic person to actually develop the allergy, mm -hmm. uh, contact with the triggers must occur. Oh, okay. So the cause is genetic, but there is uh, also Trigger. triggers, yes. So there's, two, so there's two factors that must come together for it to start to appear on our skin. Yes. For example, if I have parents or people in my family do have eczema then, yeah. or atopic dermatitis, then we should get allergy tested? Is that, is that one of the things we should do? Um, not necessarily. Okay. Um, it's not a routine test okay. for people who have family history with atopy. Okay. But it is very helpful to be aware of what causes or triggers the reactions right. uh, in yourself and in your uh, children. Because okay. okay. so, it's always good to have an allergy test anyway, right? Yeah. For us to know <laughs> yeah, what we're allergic yeah, yeah, yeah. to. So I guess it's extra important. It's extra it important. That. Now, when we talk about triggers, um, what sort of triggers that would um, make this eczema appear? Okay, so uh, the triggers may include uh, environmental triggers okay. like extreme uh, temperatures oh. or uh, pollens, dust, and oh. so on. And also irritants like chemicals, perfumes, and um, maybe some certain clothing materials like oh, wool. Okay. And soaps also, right? Soaps. Yes, yes, soaps, perfumes. And also, uh, sometimes it is concomitant with food allergies. So. Mm, okay, so things we consume can cause this to happen as well. Yes. So take us through the process. Um, what starts to happen? Uh, do, we, what, do we start to see spots? Uh, I've, I've seen images and uh, I've seen actual uh, people that I know who have it, had it. And it just appears on the skin as red, uh, more of a discoloration, uh, discoloration, more of a red mark. And then there's some sort of drying on the skin as well. Yes. What's the process like and how long does this process last? So, atopic dermatitis usually starts as pruritus or itchiness. Itchiness, mm. okay, itchiness. so it itches. And then uh, the skin lesion that accompanies it uh, usually redness okay. and dryness. And also sometimes uh, thickening of the skin. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and in younger children, it usually appears on uh, their cheeks. Oh, no. Mm. But in general, uh, atopic dermatitis have a predilection for affecting skin creases. Skin creases like uh, the inside of your elbow, knees, arms, oh, and legs. Okay. Uh, um, so, what's the advice then? Like, because if it is itching, we shouldn't scratch it, I assume. Yeah. Yes, of course. So, what was what, what the best way? Because I mean, sometimes it's hard to. I mean, I've had, you know, <laughs> I've, had, I've had rashes <laughs> where you, you try not to scratch, but then when you go to sleep, you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> mosquito bites. So, what's the best? Is there is there any sort of uh, treatment we can use? Ointment. Um, so, the agents that are typically used to treat atopic dermatitis include moisturizers mm -hmm. and topical steroids, which is oh. the mainstay of treatment. Right. Okay. Um, however, just as it's important as the agents, there are some uh, non-medical measures mm -hmm. that uh, can be helpful. Like what? Um, the most important thing being um, trigger avoidance. Okay. Obviously, because uh, contact with triggers it is what causes the reactions. Okay. 
Okay, so you need to keep that under control. Yeah. Now, um, we also want to know, Dr. Jasmine, about the, um, the dangerous uh, risk that we should be concerned about when uh, we experience um, eczema. Okay. So, atopic dermatitis is um, generally not harmful, especially to the rest of the body. Okay. But sometimes it can result in secondary infection, mm. especially if uh, the patient uh, develop a habit of scratching the skin. So you can have an open wound kind of yes. thing, right? Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Uh, and also it damages the skin barrier as well. Okay. So, uh, and sometimes with the itchiness, it interferes with your daily activity, right? Of course, of course. So, yeah. uh, it's uh, annoying. I've got a couple of, uh, <laughs> maybe you can bust a couple of myths for us. Um, we Indonesians, we like to say uh, that a lot of these things are caused by stress or lack of sleep. Is that true or is that a myth? It is not the direct cause of atopic dermatitis, okay. but uh, things like that uh, can affect the immune system and it can worsen right. the symptoms oh. because uh, the allergy is directly linked with immune system. Oh, okay. okay, so if our immune system is weak and we have a history of this in our family, then it's, we're more susceptible to this happening. Yes. I see. So uh, what is the duration like um, for an average uh, uh, a span of how long this would take to heal? And what is the healing process like apart from uh, perhaps using moisturizer or taking care of your skin? Is there any medication you can ingest in order to help speed up the process of recovery? Uh, so the process varies. Uh, most people outgrow the condition, okay. but sometimes it lasts um, uh, in the uh, in your life. Also, oh, uh, it just yes. comes and goes. Yes, uh, chronic and relapsing. Mm. Right. It, right. So it really depends on either you are able to avoid the triggers or not. Uh, okay, so you yeah. just kind of know you have to know your body, you have to know yeah. what your your environment, the and triggers, your and right? Stuff. Okay. Now. Um, we also want to know, is it contagious, Dr. Jasmine? Um, atopic dermatitis is not contagious at all, but okay. um, it is genetic, right? So it may be hereditary. Oh, okay, so not contagious. Not contagious. All right, so uh, is there anything else that we need to know in regards to how to reduce the chances of this happening, especially when it comes to children, because it's really tricky. I haven't had any of my children allergy tested. I don't really, I haven't seen any of this happening to anyone, but I also know that, you know, if you have babies or toddlers who cannot communicate to you how they feel, if they feel some kind of itch, sometimes you notice a little rash and you wonder, mm -hmm. like, is yeah. that eczema or what is or it? Or is it a... Right, so how, how do we kind of uh, reduce any of the risk of this happening, especially in little ones? So, uh, to fully prevent atopic dermatitis, it is very tricky. Okay. Um, so, I like to suggest uh, in households with family history of atopy mm -hmm. to, uh, to know what kind of triggers that can cause atopic dermatitis and um, really avoid it mm. and really uh, keep in mind uh, what kind of things that trigger the reactions in your children. Like remember and kind of know, yeah. oh, yes. okay, if they, my kid has this, they tend yeah. to break out a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Okay. good. <laughs> good uh, thanks for the advice. And keep the skin moisture, is it, is, is it going to help? Yes, because um, it tends to make your skin dry, right? So uh, moisturizers really um, help with the damage of skin barriers. Okay, so lotion every day. Yeah. Well, that, that part, no, 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 no problem. By the non way, non-perfume lotion. Non-perfume lotion. Yeah, stay away from the okay. chemicals. Thank you, you. you mentioned one thing right before um, when we came on air, which is how uh, temperature can sometimes affect our yes. skin. How does that exactly work? Because I can understand mm. if you ingest something, it's in your blood, it's in your body, yeah. or if you uh, touch something, you're exposed to something, but how does temperature uh, end up being one of the triggers for this? It's the same principle with allergic rhinitis. You know, with people okay. um, with allergic rhinitis, they tend to sneeze a lot in oh, the morning. Yes. Yes. So Correct. that's hold the... us that. Uh, yeah. I agree. <laughs> right before we come on the air. <laughs> yes. Oh, so, okay. so maybe you have atopy. Right. Yeah. So, I, yeah. yeah I, 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 I'm, that's why I keep asking all these extra <laughs> questions because I do have a couple of these do sound familiar. Anyway, thanks again, Dr. Jasmine. Thank you, Dr. Jasmine. Really Thank really you appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to know more, please do uh, visit your closest uh, healthcare or general practitioner to find out more.